Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commence in the 3rd of June 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, to raise your consciousness, step out onto your spiritual path, come out of that spiritual closet so that you can be the best that you can be in this lifetime and fulfill your purpose in this lifetime so that you can take charge of your destiny. Now, this week we're going to be using the Angels, Gods and Goddesses Oracle Cards by Tony Carmen Salerno. But as always, before we get into this week's reading, I would like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so, so much. And with that in mind, um, don't forget I am running the Future Life Progression Practitioners Training on the 19th, 20th and 21st of July. And it'd be lovely to uh, have you join us. It is online training over three days, so you don't need to leave the comfort of your own home. Um, and it's a chance for you to learn how to take people forwards and backwards in time onto other timelines that you can use with your existing business or a create a completely new business because there's a beautiful business section um, within there as well. So uh, do check it out or and contact me direct if you want to book a space. So as always, I'll give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. Oh, and I almost forgot to say, this weekend coming up, I'm going to be down at Detling at the Wellness Festival. Um, so uh, please do uh, come along to that. I'm going to be down there offering Angelic Reiki. A very big discounted price for a session down there, um, as well as on the Sunday doing a talk on Divine Presence. And if the weather's anything like last year, the talk is in an air-conditioned room, so it'll be absolutely amazing. So do come down the Saturday or the Sunday, not just to see me, obviously, and have some angelic crakey, but there's lots of other things going on as well. And with my talk on Divine Presence, you're also going to be taken through time and space. To other dimensions. Anyway, let's get, as always, as I said, give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. So, what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? A week commencing the 3rd of June 2024. Oh, okay. What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? For a week commencing the 3rd of June 2024. Okay, so let's see what cards. We've already had one jumper, which is always interesting when that happens. So let's see what we've got. We have got Angel of Joyfulness. Something wondrous and magical is about to happen. Angel of Expression. Speak your truth and express yourself clearly. And Goddess of Strength. Stand up for what you believe. You will gain respect by holding your ground. Okay, so what the cards are saying for me this week is that this week you need to be in the energy of joyfulness, of playfulness, of having fun, um, you know, and knowing that wondrous things are going to happen to you, um, you know, leaving all doubt, fear, everything behind and just stay in that joyful, playful mood knowing that things are going to be wondrous and they are going to turn out to the best possible thing they can be because obviously when you're in the energy of joyous energy things move so much more quicker um, and they actually have much more of a positive um, imp impact um, on there you know and this is a week of also speaking your truth you know allowing your voice to 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 come out but it's not about um, when the expression you speak, expression yourself with this, 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 it's okay, how can I express this with joy and wonder and lightness? Even the most darkest conversations that we can have with people, we can bring that little bit of love and joyfulness, or well, maybe not so joyfulness, but, but that light into it so it's not so heavy and dark, so that it, you know, it sparks that little bit of hope, that little bit of comfort. Um, so this week, you know, when you're expressing, to, you know, sharing your points of view, your thoughts, your words, do them in a way that's, that's um, positive 
and as joyful as you possibly can. And you will find that will help you so much to um, show up to who you truly are and to get your point, uh, your, to get your point across. You know, and with that, it's stand up for what you believe or what you know, and you will gain respect by holding your ground. So again, you know, this is you stepping up this week and going, no, this is me. This is who I am. You know, I'm not going to change for anyone else. This is what I feel is for my highest good, for what I am supposed to be doing. If you don't understand, you don't understand. But if you love me, you allow me to be who I am supposed to be and to ex express my truth. But it also means that you also be aware that other people are allowed to speak their truth to be who they want to be. So just as you can't, uh, you don't want other people to be telling you and controlling you what to do, you don't want to be doing that for other people as well. And if you do all this in joyful, fun, playfulness this week, it will actually um, be of benefit to you and people will see who you truly are and how wondrous you are and you'll be able to see how wondrous other people are and the world is. So really great cards this week. Um, you know, we're getting more and more now where we have to stand in our truth, in our power. Who are we? You know, ask that question. Who am I? Who, are, who am I? Who am I? Tr who am I? No, I'm trying to get the words of this. Who am I truly? Well, you know what I mean anyway, you know, it's, it's the, you know, what is the truth of you? Who are you? Who am I? Um, and stand in that truth this week, express it, um, you know, but do it in a joyful, fun-filled way. So anyway, that's really all the cards are saying to me this week. Um, as always, when I draw these cards, I draw them for what you need to know for your highest good. So you may get a completely different interpretation and that's absolutely fine. You know, go with what your gut instinct, um, what your heart tells you about these cards, whether it's my reading or you get something completely different from the cards. And it may be the one card stands up more than the others. And if so, you know, what does that, what does that message really mean to you? So the cards again are Angel of Joyfulness, something wondrous and magical is about to happen. Have fun this week. Angel of Expression, speak your truth and express yourself clearly. When you say your words clearly and with joyfulness, people will understand them. And Goddess of Strength, stand up for what you believe or what you know. You will gain respect by holding your ground. Speak your truth. You know, I've never ever once shied away from talking about angels and unicorns and everything else I talk about because that is who I am. Be who you are truly meant to be this week and have fun doing it. So I hope you enjoyed that reading. Um, do check out the Future Life Progression Practitioners Training. And if you can come down to Detlin and the Wellness Festival this, this week, coming weekend, it'll be lovely to see you down there. And of course, don't forget to check out my show, Angels and Destiny, which if you're watching this on Sunday, it's taking place on Monday the 3rd. If you're watching on Monday the 3rd, it's taking place um, at 8 p.m. UK time. And if you're watching later in the week, then please do watch the replay. I've got the beautiful Victoria Jane Chisholm on the show, and it could be all about angels and dragons. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to that one. So have a wonderful week. Take care and speak soon. Bye.